Hey everybody. So I wanted to kind of go with a story about the three, the two Americans, four went to Mexico for a quote, Tommy tech, two were killed and two survived. It says the bodies of two Americans who were kidnapped in Mexico have been returned to the U S and I'm going to do this quick read, but I want to give a different spin on it. So it may not be what you may, you know, uh, expect. So this is in Matamoros, Mexico. The Mexican authorities returned the bodies of the two Americans killed in the border city of Matamoros. After autopsies were con conducted, security forces escorted the remains of Shaid Woodard and Zendel Brown late Thursday evening to American authorities, who then drove them across the bridge to Brownsville, Texas. Woodard and Brown had been killed after they were caught in the crossfire by unidentified gunman last Friday. The Associated Press reported that a Mexican woman, 33-year-old Aureli Pablo Servando, was also killed, apparently by a stray bullet. The two companions, Latavia Washington McGee and Eric Williams, survived and are recovering in a U.S. hospital. Earlier in the day, one of the organized crime groups that acts with impunity in Matamoros left five men in the middle of the street with their hands tied. In a note, the group apologized for the killings and said these were the men responsible. But Mexican authorities have said nothing about the note or the men accused by the cartel. So far, only one arrest has been made in retaliation to the kidnapping. Now, there's a lot of information that's circulating out here about this. And this is the part that totally blows my mind. Okay? Many stories have circulated. And I read a few reports and one report I found in particular, very interesting. It seems that of course they have felonies. Um, from what I've seen, there's a report showing that, Hey, these, you know, they've got, um, the lady, Miss McGee, she has a background. Interesting. And I believe the man, his wife gave a statement that she didn't know that he was going there. Okay. Ergo, more news has come up. What was it? A report came out that said information, and I'll have to say it's suggested, that they were there to buy drugs. We know that. And now just remember, I just did a video saying and I'm just speaking the truth, my experience, and what I've seen from, with other people. Just did a video saying why some people do not want to do business with black people. Just did a video. Why some don't want to do business with black people. This right here ties into it. See, it turns out there's news that is circulating that I've heard of, and it's saying that basically they were there to buy product, but they had a connect in South Carolina. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. There's news circulating. They had a connect in South Carolina, but guess what they decided to do? Cut out the middleman. And go straight. That's why they're saying, uh, some are saying this hat what led to it and go straight to the cartel directly. Or we're going to cut out the middleman and we're going to go ahead and go straight to the cartel directly and make a purchase. And then I thought, I'm like, well, how did they, then what, how, how does the middleman know? Then there's news saying, hey, the guy that we're trying to cut out the quote middleman call the cartel. What was said? I don't know. That hasn't circulated from what I've heard. That person called the cartel, and that's when they went down there, again, different reports, why this happened, the shooting and the kidnapping. Again, a lot of information is circulating. I thought, oh, my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. Yes, that is some news that I heard. I said, you have got to be kidding me that they were trying to cut out the middleman and going to deal with the cartel directly. How? I don't know. They're saying the middleman found out, called the cartel. So when they went down there, that that is what possibly may have uh, started this event. That's why they were shot at all, all this drama. 
And I thought about it and I said, okay, so basically, hate to say it. So basically what you're saying, as I said before, don't like to pay. You don't want to pay the middleman to have the operation still going on. Then they're saying the thing about the tummy tuck. Yeah, uh, kind of interesting. That may just have been like a disguise for, for the real reason. For the Tommy Tuck, they've been asking about the name of, well, who's the doctor that you had the appointment with for the Tommy Tuck? Guess what? They're, they're reporting that they gave a name, but that's some, there's something kind of funny about it. There's no such doctor. So you, have a, you are having Tommy Tuck cosmetic surgery for a doctor that doesn't exist no one can find this doctor the name that you gave you tried to cut out the middleman and it's sad it's sad to say i just thought about what i said before don't like to pay so maybe just maybe if it hadn't been so greedy and want to always love to quote get over i don't understand why Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe two people wouldn't have lost their lives. And maybe they wouldn't have had a spotlight on them. Now the background, everything is all on display. All on display. What? I'm going to cut out the middleman. I don't, I don't understand I, why this happens. And I know it's a, it's a, it's a negative of, of all people. Trust me, it's not just us specifically. But I noticed that a whole lot in the BC just don't want to, just don't want to pay. Want to always, you know, we do this to each other. So it looks like they've done it to the wrong one. Let me know if you guys have heard about it. Tried to cut out the middleman. I was like, oh my goodness. And so they're thinking the middleman called the cartel. And that, and again, you don't know what the middleman, you're trying to cut his money off. You don't know what that person is telling them. So ergo, you're trying to get over. And now two people have lost their lives. It's illegal. You know, from what they're saying, they went to go and get. I mean, the cartel ain't selling cupcakes. But if you just could have kept to your business plan, if you just could have kept to your business plan and not try to be greedy and not try to always get over, I'm going to get over on them. <laughs> I ain't going to pay. Now look, spotlight is on you. Spotlight is on you. Background is all on the news, all on the internet. All because of what? Try to get over. Try to cut out the middleman, and now look what's happened. So bye bye to your business. Two people dead. Spotlight is on them. I wouldn't be surprised if they're good. What if they get charged with felony murder? Because number one, they're the ones that got them down there. If you hadn't gone down and trying to cut the middleman out and deal with the cartel directly, you don't have it like that. So once again, when you don't want to pay, it goes wrong and it's so embarrassing. Anyway, that's the update that I received. Let me know what you guys think. So if you said her on YouTube, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.